Look who's there. Who, Fred? That smart alecky kid Arnold who delivers our newspapers. So what? So every time I see him, we have a battle of wits. Oh, I get it. You're out of ammunition. <laughs> Hiya, Mr. Flintstone. I was just on my way to your house. You owe me for last week's newspaper delivery. All right, all right. You don't have to bug me, Arnold. Here's your money. Thanks, Mr. Flintstone. As of now, I am canceling my subscription. Why? Why? Because more and more, that paper of yours is failing to fulfill its obligation to the public. That's why. Oh, I don't understand what you mean. I mean your comic section has shrunk to almost nothing. <laughs> Only 15 measly comic strips in the whole thing. You call that a newspaper? Huh. Oh, gee, Mr. Flintstone, I sure hate to lose you as a customer. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a special rate. A special rate? Uh-huh. Now, let's see now. You're paying five cents a copy on weekdays and 15 cents on Sundays, right? Five cents weekdays, 15 cents on Sundays, that's right. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll charge you six cents for the daily paper, but only a dime on Sundays. What do you say? Hmm, well, that sounds like a fair enough deal. Okay, Arnold, under those conditions, I'll stay your customer. I thought you would, Mr. Flintstone. Goodbye, gentlemen. So long, Arnold. <laughs> I suppose you think I took advantage of the kid, Barney. But I just did that to teach him a lesson. Oh, Fred, you're paying 46 cents a week now instead of 45 cents. Huh? Why, that little... He took advantage of me. Hey, Arnold, come back here! It's too late, Fred. He's gone. And besides, you got a doctor's appointment, remember?